Ow, my neck. Why would you do that? Oh. Oh, what? Uh, Todd, stop. Ow. Uh, uh, You're only hurting yourself. Uh, oh, 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 I my have neck. to stop the recording now. Oh, oh my neck. You can't just keep doing that. Oh, oh my Ooh. neck. This is my you're neck. Gonna, you're gonna die. Specifically, my neck is bobbing. You're, you're, uh, you're dead. Uh, you are dead uh, right okay, now. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe I can pop it into. Uh. Welcome back to Rush the Fort. <laughs> We're playing Katamari Forever still. I'm yeah. Josh. And I'm Todd. We're gonna be Kinoko. Yeah. And uh, we found this special little hat while we were playing while some, our neighbor For was... Technically, it's a mask, I think. Yeah. Each one has a unique... It's a unique thing on each one, because he's like, oh, it's perfect for Kinoko. Yeah, and but I, if oh, you were playing any other character, it would say, it was perfect for the prince or yeah. the princess. Or, like, if I were to play, I would be like, that would be perfect for Todd. It would be perfect <laughs> for Todd, but, you know, it's fine. But yeah, for Kinoko, it has this little... I don't know what you'd call it, like a bullseye hat. Yeah, sort of like a cap. And like when you're hat. when you're the prince, he wears a mask of I think the queen. It's a cap because he's a mushroom. Yeah, a mushroom cap. <laughs> <laughs> I mean anything that would. Oh my gosh, am I, am I gonna be all right with these guys? What a nice little town this is. <laughs> because he's like, what a nice part of the town you are in. <laughs> it's perfect for a Katamari roll. Go make it this big and this now the time. All right, oh, gotta get out of there. <laughs> that was weird. I had more advice for you. <laughs> I had more to tell you. <laughs> I hope this doesn't end badly. Yeah, I remember this level being one of the trickier ones for me when I was playing it. Yeah. But as long as I find a steady stream of stuff to pick yeah, up. Yeah, this one's a lot better. Well, I mean, of the first five seconds of our impressions of it. Yeah. Because um, the other ones would be like, well, here's some stuff. Here's some stuff you can't pick up at all. Yeah. That one was really annoying where it was just... <laughs> batteries that I could not touch. I'm like, great, fantastic. Thank you so much I for this. I appreciate you being totally sarcastic here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, this time instead of just bananas that you can pick up, they got strawberries. Oh. So I'm, I'm going to have another discussion in oh, this episode. Oh, oh yeah, I, I found it really interesting, actually. I did some research on strawberries, and uh, <laughs> apparently if you eat the skin of a strawberry, it's really healthy for you. <laughs> <laughs> this conversation is going to last the entire episode. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but uh, I forget, there, I don't know how many seeds, if you take off all the seeds of a strawberry, it then counts as another thing, actually. Really? It's like, uh, whatever the one that doesn't have the seed on the outside, then that becomes, oh, that's on. what the strawberry becomes when you remove this all its seeds. This trail is the worst. <laughs> really oh, the difference doing? between fruits and vegetables is the placement of the seeds. It's not like, a, there's a lot more into it, probably. But there's, it's mostly, it's not even like a really biological thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it, it was, it's always a fruit. It's always a fruit. I'm like, well, if you were to turn it inside out, then it's a vegetable. Or the other way around or something. I don't, I don't study. Okay, I've gotten to the point in the level where I'm struggling to find stuff to pick up. Ooh, how about... I want to be able to pick milk. up the milk. Yeah, you want, that will be the... But once I can pick up the milk, I think it really goes yeah. up from there. Yeah, this is a long one. Yeah. It's a ten minute episode. Yeah, it, it, it's going to take up the entire episode. Sure. <laughs> We've never done 10 minutes before. Oh, no, never. <laughs> it's going to be game-breaking for us. <laughs> Maybe if you go back... Yeah. I can go through here. Maybe now I can pick up the milk. Ooh. I hope. Yes. Yeah, all right. Oh. Nice. So I'll go back to the other place later. Yeah. Because right now it's pretty barren over there. Yeah, it, it would it would be a waste of time if you went back. Yeah. Milk is a waste of time, kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really, just don't drink it. It's not like you need calcium or anything. I mean, your bones can do without that. I mean, heck, if you can get potassium by not eating specifically bananas, like yeah. that we talked before, I mean, you can get you can get. Uh, I mean, I chew on bones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah, you can. You, you can get uh, calcium from like chewing on bones. So oh, uh, go go eat some baby birds. Yeah, oh, specifically <laughs> baby birds. Yeah. Why not baby puppies, Josh? <laughs> they have just as much calcium. <laughs> what is there some ethics that is misshewing there? Also, chewing on birds is just as bad ethically. <laughs> I, w I, I would almost have a discussion on would it would be more ethically bad to eat, like, just chew on a bird. Just well, yeah, because, like, it, it's an animal. Yeah. And insects are animals, but it's not seen as ethically wrong to, like, go eat a bug out in the wilderness. But it yeah. would be bad to just go out in the wilderness and eat a wild dog. Yeah. Like, that's frowned upon. Probably because we're, as a society, closer to dogs. Yeah. 
Because, I mean, like, um, <laughs> this gets into, like, just plain, like, uh, not devil's advocate, but let's see. Oh, handcuffs. So I think yeah. they found us out. They, just, they got us. <laughs> They're they, looking uh, for us, dude. They did it. Well, those those dolls. They're running around. Yeah. I gotta get the pigeons. Oh. oh. The <laughs> this one just flapped along next to me. It's like, please let me go, no. sir. No. No. Oh, I can't get down there to get that. Or can I? Oh, well, if I can fit oh. down there and get this heart. Oh, yeah. Oh, it closed up for me. Oh, wait, no. Uh, no, There's no, an no. entrance. I can't fit in there. Nope. Shoot. That's whatever. I gotta keep going, I gotta keep rolling. Gotta keep rolling. Gotta keep rolling with it. Gotta keep bowling. <laughs> and you can get to the next area, and then you keep... It'd be really clever to have, like, a bowling alley Katamari level. Yeah, I mean, they did do the bowling one that from before. Yeah. But, I mean, an actual bowling alley. Yeah, like, a, a whole level set in a bowling alley. It'd be cool as a mini game, just you bowl just the entire time. Yeah, and uh, this game does have mini games in it. Yeah. Uh, like, I think at the end of the game you unlock the first main mini game. It like, happens during the credits or something. Uh, I, I believe the whole game is a mini game because it doesn't <laughs> feel like it's a, a really well developed game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really, I don't know why I bought this game to begin with. It's not a very well designed game. People like it's to not think, very fun. People like to think short and sweet games are games, but I think they're mini games. Like, you know, like Dwarf Planet is to a planet, you know what I mean? And like chess, chess, that's a mini game. That's, it's just, I don't know why they started calling that a game in the first I place. I feel like Checkers is the mini game to chess. Like, yeah, you're building up to it, you know? It's not really a game. I mean, who plays checkers for real? Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, like, all those old men on the park? They're just getting ready. There was a while back, uh, it was like last Thanksgiving, uh, my cousins were all in town. And one of my cousins in particular, I'm not gonna name drop him, unless he wants me to. Uh, Ding it. Ah, oh, come on. And, you see, it's these moments like this yeah. where I, 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 there's nothing I can pick up yeah, it's I think that's why I remember this level so poorly because it's really hard to find a good path to do it. But anyway, uh, last Thanksgiving, one of my cousins uh, decided to challenge me to a lot of games because he was sure that he wanted to beat me at one thing. <laughs> but every single time we would play a game together, it, if only by luck, I would win every single time. <laughs> so like we did a match of chess, and then I beat him. We did a match of checkers, I beat him. We did a match of Quirkle, I beat him. We did a match of uh, Cards Against Humanity, I beat b both times. So we did Cards Against Humanity in a whole group. <laughs> it's like every single time I'd play against him, no matter who else was in there with us, like I would win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of felt really bad for him afterwards because he was really set on beating me on one thing. Mm, sorry, cuz. <laughs> he even like at one point challenged me to a cracker eating contest, like a saltine cracker. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it got to the point where his mouth started bleeding. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but I still beat him every single time. <laughs> it's like, dude, quit doing this to yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> every time is, I think you need to stop saying that afterwards. <laughs> I know you're trying to be sincere, but he sees it as a threat. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, guys. Yeah, you do it in that exact voice. You don't talk like that on a normal basis until you beat him. <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Just, that's the thing, you know, it's where, that's where supervillains come from. <laughs> sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Ah! <laughs> I challenge you to a cracker eating contest. <laughs> to a da -da 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 And then you you pull out the uh, three eyed dragon wing or <laughs> three three eyes green dragon. <laughs> yeah. And then you're like, mm, sorry, guys. And then you pull the last card. He's like, no, no. I want to tell you. <laughs> I have now trapped your grandpa inside this playing car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, cuz. <laughs> your grandpa is stuck forever until you beat my tournament. <laughs> sorry, cuz. Yeah, I'm locked in your area. Oh, very I don't nice. know if I have enough time left, but I'm gonna. You're about gonna a go for it. of the way there. Yeah, it, it, I don't know. I feel like I can get that in. Yeah, uh, if there is another heart, you for it's, sure. It's definitely one of those things where it's really hard to gauge. Yeah. Like exactly how long it'll take you to get there. Especially since there's so little in this level. Yeah. Like there's barely anything I can actually pick up. Yeah. Is that a penguin? Um they're seals. Oh okay, okay. yeah, there's they're seals. Whoa, these are the baby statues look like oh, oh. another really weird <laughs> really weird pose there. Oh no. Oh. oh, they were all waiting in line for the porta potty. Yeah, <laughs> that's why they were okay. Yeah, that, that makes a little more sense now. <laughs> Rather than just a line of these. That's babies. actually really clever. 
<laughs> like getting those uh, little fountain statues yeah where the water is like coming out of areas it'd be really hilarious if they just did that in a park where they just had all these babies <laughs> yeah that, that's that's like one of those performance art things yeah and they're all just babies and they just put up real legit babies in front of the bathrooms <laughs> and they're like just look like you're going to just look like you need to go oh this this yeah, just yeah, keep going. Yeah, yeah. And if, I'm probably picking up a lot of. Nope. No, I was about to say, I'm probably picking up a lot of fish. Get that old lady. No. <laughs> she deserves it. <laughs> that was a fortune teller. That was a male. That she was, was uh, resisting arrest. I had to. That was the opposite uh, of what I, I thought her. it was. It's not old. That was just a fortune teller. <laughs> <laughs> was not a lady. <laughs> you teller. got probably everything. Cousin. Ooh, cousin. 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 That looks kind of weird. Cousin. My cousin. I come here. Ooh. Baseball game. Ooh, it looks like you just committed a foul. <laughs> you just committed a foul. Foul ball. Foul. That was a foul play. <laughs> foul play. <laughs> I, I wish the elephant would just immediately run away. Like, straight out of the zoo area as soon as he got rid of the fence. Just barge in through the fence. Like, Rob! <laughs> he just knocks over a car. Yeah, It'd be just fantastic. It, it'd be really funny if they can design the AI at some point to react normally to this. Yeah. It's like people start running away normally, and elephants will escape the zoo and stuff. Why haven't people done this game in Unity for? <laughs> <laughs> Over hyper realistic people, and they're like rag dolls as soon as they're rolled up, <laughs> so it just goes like. I think, I think this game was the last like big console release for the Katamari series, uh, and that was quite a while ago. Yeah, I haven't seen. Uh, it. They've been doing it on like portable systems. Oh. Like they did it on the PSP and the PS Vita. That's... But I, I really want to see what they can do with like a PS4 Katamari game. Yeah, because I think that would be amazing. It doesn't have to be like... I mean, of course, New Age graphics, but graphics don't always equate to New Age uh, art style, you know? Yeah. Like, hyper-realistic yeah. doesn't automatically oh, yeah, equal... I, I would hate to see a hyper-realistic Katamari game. I know, Katamari that's game. what I mean. If, that'd if be someone, horrible. Because what, most of the time when people are putting it in Unity 4, they're just making it hyper-realistic. There was Sonic, yeah. and there was Mario, and those just don't it's fit. It's Sonic with misfitting hyper-realistic graphics. Like, like in oh. Sonic 06. Or like the the very first screenshots of Wind Waker HD that they released. Yeah. Where like they hadn't quite got the art style to, down to mix together with the hyper-realistic lighting effects yeah. they had. Yeah. Like, it just didn't look very good. The bloom was way too high. I, I feel like they toned it down pretty well in the end game. Yeah, that was but, a really good one. Yeah. Sort of mixed. It was like, it was a lot more realistic, but that's a good example of one where they make it more up to date, but they don't have to update it like style wise. Just keep it yeah. the same style. Just don't have to. I think you might make it if you just really, if, really focus. If I really go for it. Like, I, I'm going to go backtrack now. See oh, if I can yeah. get all these things. Oh, no. Oh, I, I'm, I'm going to be able to start picking up buildings soon, and when I do that, I can. Yeah, but. Oh, man, no. Just keep going, just keep going. Trees? I, I, trees, yeah, yes, trees. Yes, you've done it. Alright. Uh, I mean, it was a pre preemptive, but... <laughs> yeah. You got, like, one. Okay. I feel like I can do one loop around and try to go back to that city. I'll be so sad if you can't get... Okay, good, you get it, yay. Alright. Alright, so we I, got... I'm gonna head back now. You got a basic 20 points for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. You can fail one of them and uh, get 20 points, but if you've met their requirement... Then, yeah. Uh, wow, you didn't do it enough. <laughs> what? <laughs> If you wanted it to be 15, then oh, you on. should have said 15. I want to get all these buildings. Oh, yeah, 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 those were nice. bigger than you a long time ago. <laughs> that was bigger than what you were just a little bit ago. <laughs> no. Just the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that is the premise of the game, but it's just really satisfying when you're rolling around the level is so tiny and these humongous buildings. Yeah, we started out really small in this level. Yeah, you were small. You were as big as a rat. Yeah. And you probably killed all those rats. I definitely did. <laughs> Crushed under the weight of all the buildings that I just picked up. And I mean the cars and the people. Because <laughs> they're polluting and they just eat <laughs> those resources. human rats. They just eat it. Just throwing trash. We did it for first try. Environment. Yeah, we did. Okay, yeah. I was, it was a very long one, so I felt like we had retried it. It, it was actually cutting it pretty close, but yeah. we got it. We had like 30 or so seconds. Yeah. Anyway, back to the Katamari. Analyzing, Analyzing size. size. <laughs> He's really sarcastic. And did you bring me a pebble? Oh for my, my gosh! That like out of all the insults they've thrown <gasps> yeah. at me, like that one really oh, cut deep. It's not a pebble, Kakarot. <laughs> you didn't know it was my birthday. <laughs> it's Bulma's birthday. <laughs> this is twice as sad. Analyzing Wait. composition, Kakarot. 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 
am the principal, cousins. I am the uh. <laughs> I, I am the principal, cousins. I am oh, the principal, yeah. cousins. Oh yeah, I'm gonna crush them. I'm gonna crush Goku. Oh yeah. I'm gonna take the Kakarot and I'm gonna crush him into the ground. I'm the top of the cream. I'm, I am the top of the cream. <laughs> Introducing you to the Vegeta. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, I am the Prince of the Saiyans. <laughs> I don't even know what we were talking about before. I just did a terrible Vegeta impersonation. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, whoa, he got a bit. Oh, head. cool, I got a little instrument. Oh, nice. Nice. A little, a little keep running. It's a little bit of a... I'm Ooh. dumbstricken. Is that, a, is that a word? I want to start using that. Yeah. Because I know there's dumbstruck. Dumb, dumb stricken. I have been dumb stricken. Sir, I will dumb strike you. <laughs> <laughs> I have 300 confirmed dumb strikes to my name. I mean, sir, you, you just saying that has me totally dumb stricken. Yes, I have succeeded in dumb striking you. <laughs> dumb striking. <laughs> I will make it. I will make it my purpose in life to dumb strike everyone that I meet <laughs> at least once. Hi, you look very attractive. How are you, ma'am? You just got dumb strict. <laughs> and he didn't slap him, he clapped his hands in front of her face. He just got dumb strict. You dumb strict. Is, is that some kind of slur, sir? Excuse me? Is it like when someone's way too strict, but they're doing it in an inefficient fashion of being dumb? <laughs> they could do it better. You could be dumber. You have so much potential. Quit being so strict about your dumbness. I'm sorry, but I have regulations. I can only do things so wrong. You are limiting your dumbness. I can, I, there are, with these rules, there are protocols, if I do it any more than I need to, then I've gone too far. 